I was 13, so... But that's what people love about you. They love the fact that you can get out there and you can play a flashy shot like this. Um, and bear in mind, when you watch this, he's playing it left-handed. <laughs> White. That is perfect. <laughs> you play a shot like that, left-handed, and you don't even react. No. Did I, you think at the time oh, that was quite good? That was. I didn't expect to pot it, but I didn't expect to miss it by a lot either. So when it went in, I was kind of like, oh, that's good. But I was more interested. <laughs> I, I was more interested where the white was going because if I didn't get on the black, then it was pointless. The red. You know, it had been a waste of time because everybody obviously was waiting to see for the 147. So when it came on the black, I was like, oh. but then the pressure really was on me because then if I'd have missed then, I'd have been de uh, devastated. So, and everybody loves a 147. So to make it, especially in a final frame, you know, I was pretty chuffed with that. Is it, is it true that at one tournament you actually turned to the referee and said, what's the prize for a 147? Yeah, on the f second red, I think it was. But you, like I say, you, it's, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> what was the prize? Four grand. So you went, OK, I'll try. Well, it, uh, it's a bit of the rebel side of me coming out, because I heard they'd slash the prize money. We used to get a car for 147, so I, I kind of won you, I kind of won a few cars, and then I heard that they'd <laughs> drop the prize money to about four grand. I just thought, that's not good, really, because the 147 is quite special. So I kind of said to the ref, look, find out what the prize is for the 147, because I said, I, fan I fancied it, I thought, I'm going to go for it. And, um, and he went, I don't know. I said, well, you better find out then. <laughs> so I get on your mic and kind of get, get the score to find out. So he went, all right. So he ran over there and had a word. And then I was putting a few reds and blacks. I got about four. I said, have you found out yet? And he, and he went, no, no, not yet. I said, well, I ain't making a maxi until you find out. But I, I, I'm, I'm kind of whis whispering to him as he's putting a ball on the table. Cause I didn't want to make it look obvious. No. And I think halfway through, he went to me four grand. And I went, Phew. and I knew it was four grand. So my way of kind of um, make, you know, trying to kind of bring it out in the open was to kind of go, you know what, you can have a 140, but you're not having a maxi. So that was my thinking. That was just my rebel side coming out. And, uh, and I really wasn't going to pot the black, but it was only because Jan said, come on, do it for your fans. And I went, oh. but if it had been any other referee, <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. It's only that I like Jan, you know? So I couldn't let Jan down, you know? No. Um, so they were lucky, really, that Jan was referee down, because yeah. I the... I'm now wishing Jan was here. Yeah. I like the sound of Jan. Jan's a cool guy. Yeah, is he's he? He's Dutch, he's laid back, yeah. he's all good, yeah. Oh, good, excellent.